OK, so you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to put a space before a capital letter. So in my scenario, I've got these names and obviously I want to put a space before the last name. I'm going to show you two methods. The first method is super quick and super easy. All you need to do is type the first example. So I've typed the name in with the space before the second capital letter here. Now I need to make sure that cell is still selected. And then all I need to do is use this shortcut key, Control E. And you can see it's created a space before the second capital letter. Now if Control E doesn't work for you, all you need to do is make sure you've selected that cell with your first example. You go to the Data tab on your ribbon and you use this button in the Data Tools group. It's called Flash Fill. Now, some of you might have spotted that this hasn't worked perfectly. So for example, where I've got two capital letters within the last name, for example, here, Joyce McCutcheon, and down here, Sol McCarnish, the Muck part of the name has been missed out in this second column. Now, one way around this is just to teach Excel that you want to include the Muck part of the last name. So the first example here, what I need to do is type MOOC in. And you'll see down here, it's automatically included the MOOC in the Sol McCarnish name. Now that's a little bit manual. If you want a more automated way of doing this, you could use Power Query. Now all you need to do is set up the Power Query once, and then it will automate the process when you add new names to your list. Now what we do is we'd click somewhere within our column, our column of names, go to the data tab on the ribbon in the get and transform data group, click on this button from table range, click on OK. That'll open up Power Query. Now what you would do is you'd go to this split column button and then choose by lower to uppercase. You can see that's created three columns. What we want to do is merge these two columns that form the last name. We go to the Transform tab, and then we go to Merge Columns. You need to make sure your separator is set to None. That's the default. Click on OK. Then you want to select the remaining two columns. I held down Shift and clicked on the second column to do that. Go to Merge Columns again. In the separator drop down, select space. Click on OK. Give the column a name. So I'll just say it's name. And then on the Home tab, go to Close and Load, Close and Load. And on a new sheet, we'll create the list of names with the space in the appropriate place. Now, if I went back to my original list and added a new name or imported a new name, So that's without the space before the second capital letter. Then I go back to my Power Query result. If I right click on this list and go to refresh, you'll see that it includes John Smith in the list. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.